Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'd like to start this video by telling you a story. And this story is a story that Allah told us in the Quran about the children of Israel. وَإِذْ خُلْتُمْ يَا مُوسَىٰ لَنْ نَصْبِرَ عَلَىٰ طَعَامٍ وَاحِدٍ فَادْعُ لَنَا رَبَّكَ يُخْرِجَ لَنَا مِمَّا تُنْبِتُ الْأَرْضُ مِنْ بَقَلِهَا وَقِثَّائِهَا وَفُومِهَا وَعَدَسِهَا وَبَصَلِهَا قَالَ أَتَسْتَبْدِلُونَ الَّذِي هُوَ أَدْنَىٰ بِالَّذِي هُوَ خَيْرٍ اِهْبِتُ مِصْرًا فَإِنَّ لَكُمْ مَا سَأَلْتُمْ In this story, the children of Israel, they were given food from Jannah. They were given a man was salwa from Jannah. What happened when they had this food from Jannah? They said, Oh Musa, we can't stick with one food. We want to have garlic and onions and lentils and so on. And Musa said to them something profound. He said, Why are you changing something that is good for something that is not good. You've got food from Jannah. Why is it that you want to have garlic and onions and lentils and so on when the food that you have is from Jannah? This has a profound lesson for us. When many of us in the Muslim world, we're looking outside of that world and we're looking to the non-Muslims in different countries and we're trying to exchange what we have for what they have. So we look at them and we say, wow, look at what these guys have. Look at their technology. Look at their civilization. Look at the way their society is. Look at the advancement they have. Look at the money they have. And so we might fall into the same thing. <laughs> You have the best thing, you have the blessing of Islam. The ni'mah of Islam, that is the best of everything. Allah has given you the best of every single thing. But instead, we crave something someone else has. And that thing is not as good as what we have. I myself, someone who lived, was brought up living in the UK, and I accepted Islam. And I left that society and that culture and that way of life because I saw how Islam is so much better. We have to recognize the blessings of Allah. فَمَا بِكُمْ مِنْ نِعْمَةٍ فَمِنَ اللَّهِ Whatever blessing you have is from Allah. Allah's system is the best system. أَفَحُكْمَ الْجَاهِلِيَّةِ يَبْغُونَ وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ مِنَ اللَّهِ حُكْمًا لِقَوْمٍ يُقِنُونَ Is it the way of the pre-Islamic times is it the system from pre-Islamic times that people want? But no one is better than Allah in judgment for a people who are certain in faith. So what we have to do is recognize the blessing of Islam. We have to recognize that Islam is the only religion which is dedicated to worshipping Allah alone. And we have to hold on to that. And we have to recognize that what Islam came with, the Sharia of Allah is the best Sharia. And the laws of Allah are the best laws. And the manners that Islam taught us are the best manners. And the civilization that Islam taught us and the society that Islam taught us is the best society. Whatever flaws exist in our society today, the reason they exist is because we distance ourselves from Islam. There is no harm in learning from the non-Muslims some things about engineering, some things about medicine, some things about computers and technology. There is no harm in buying things from them and selling things to them. But don't give up what Allah gave you. Don't give up your religion and start to copy their manners and copy their way of acting. Our messenger of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, وَمَن تَشَبَّهَ بِقَوْمٍ فَهُوَ مِنْهُمْ Whoever resembles a people is one of them. So let's not be a people who resemble with them. No harm in us. We buy from them, we sell to them, we learn some things from them, they learn some things from us. But we don't give up our religion. We don't give up our culture. We don't give up our manners, our akhlaq, the way that we behave. We don't give up our society that Allah Azza wa Jal showed us how to make it in the best possible way. We don't give up what we have that is better for what they have that is not so good. 
And in reality, when you look at their society, you will see that their society is falling apart. They have no safety, they have no security, they have no happiness. وَمَنْ أَعْرَضَ عَنْ ذِكْرِ فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً ضَنْكَ Whoever turns away from my remembrance will have a very hard life. So my advice to my brothers and sisters in Islam is really simple. Realize the blessings of Allah. Realize the blessing of Islam that you have and hold tight onto it. Don't let it go. Keep to your Islamic manners, your Islamic etiquettes, your Islamic behavior. And there is no harm in benefiting and sharing benefits with other people. But don't let it be at the expense of your religion and the expense of our Islamic society. And that's what Allah made easy for me to mention and Allah knows best. Wassalatu wassalamu ala nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.